Why, hello everyone, and welcome back to Star Stable Online. And don't panic, I know that the screaming and the mysterious disappearing woman who just vanished on my left here uh, might be a little bit disturbing, but I promise you, it's just the mm, more shadowy magic of the Halloween event. And we're actually leaving the fog of the Halloween event with Fire Lord and General Iroh right now. Whew, and stretching our hooves out on the main roads here on the old Yorvik Highway leading into Dundal here in Mistfall. So, wow, talk about a contrast compared to where we just were at, but that was amazing! I am totally in love with the keep and I cannot wait to be able to explore it some more with all of you, especially in tomorrow's special live stream. We're gonna have so much fun, guys. There have been a lot of things prepared behind the scenes and, you know, even if it doesn't go off with the without a hitch even if there are some bumps and we take some spills well you know what they say right you just have to get back on the horse so i'm really looking forward to trying it out with you guys and i hope that through all of our racing the stars event you have been leaving those likes and supports so that hopefully if it all goes really well we might be able to do this again next month i can't believe how many adventures we have gone on and how much ground we have covered in our week of racing the stars so far and I'm really excited to see what we do tomorrow. But today, we do have a mission, finally, with Fire Lord, who's happy to have some time to have this spotlight focused on him, with seeking out soul shards. And a little birdie did let me know that one soul shard is located somewhere in Epona, which I haven't unlocked yet. So I won't be able to actually get one of the soul shards, but the other two should hopefully be located somewhere around Fort Pinta and somewhere around the original watery land landing sites that the Jarl, the great Jarl, whose ruins are somewhere over by the abbey. So I'm thinking maybe I should search up here because if I was going to be a landing force and some of the oldest areas in Jorvik are around here, then I would come up this way and use this broad open river to try to land my like landing force somewhere in this zone. So that's my, my theory for why we should go there. Military theory, no less. You can tell that I actually live with love and share my life with a historian sometimes, right? But we're actually going to ride over to Fort Pinta today with Fire Lord, who, as you can tell, is not super fast, but maybe he'll get a chance to continue to level up as we continue to do our exploring. And who knows, maybe with your guys' support, we'll have enough events that all of our horses will be able to be leveled up. Uh, let's see, and we're going to come over. I mean, it really is exciting to leave all of that power and ability in your guys' hands, too. It just shows like we can work together to really make these things happen. But anyway, to Fort Pinta, where I think a broken bridge somewhere around the walled city. Hmm. Maybe it would be a good idea to go on one of the Fort Pinta races so that I can kind of get a good glance of everywhere. But, oh, whoa! <laughs> Even Fort Pinta is feeling the spooky season. And there is that beautiful new premium horse. Wow. I mean, it's one thing to feel the spooky season, but it's totally another to be covered in smog. What is happening over here? James, what the heck? Like, this is really spooky, James. What is going on? Returning to Fort Pinta, posters, uh, no, no, no. Look, I don't need to do any of those things right now. And there is apparently somebody I have a quest with. So let's go talk to them. Oh, it's going to be the spirit uh, chica again. All right, let's wiggle this way. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Sally, Tori, what do you guys think about all this? Best friends. Um, oh, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. How cool that you and Spirit have become best friends. Oh, trust me, we had the best selfie earlier this week. It was amazing. And that he likes you so much. You must have really spent a lot of time with him. The more you get to know that horse, the more you like him. Don't you agree? Uh, yeah, I would say that for pretty much any horse, but I, I agree. And then let's see. Ooh, a nice sweater. Hey now, how does that look? Uh, okay, okay. I kind of wish I could wear a jacket over it, but thank you. Let's see. Because you're best friends with spirit, you have to have this. There's no danger, just take it. Danger? Here you go. From a shirt? Tori, sometimes you worry me a little bit. <laughs> All right, I don't think that there's any more quests that will advance my level and get us closer to that 
hopeful uh, level up for the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. Um, but you know what? Let's actually do the Fort Pinta race because one, Fire Lord needs the leveling up and two, maybe while we, well, I don't want a high score race because uh, Fire Lord isn't exactly super duper high level. So Fort Pinta track, please. And let's see if I can get, oh, look at that cool skeleton tail on that horse. Oh, that's so awesome. But Fire Lord might be able to help me glance around. So Broken Bridge, there's the big archway that we ride across to get into Fort Quinta. And I don't think that's broken. I feel like I have seen a broken bridge somewhere nearby though. So maybe if I search along like the outer parts of Fort Quinta, it's not gonna be inside the city. And I don't think it's gonna be like over to the left or the right, excuse me, because that's mostly river. Hmm. All right, and I, you know what? My plan to do this race so that I could actually see what was going on is not exactly going to work out when the whole area is covered in this spooky smog. I'd be really creeped out. I would just go to Mistfall for like the week if this is what my races looked like, if this is what my city looked like. I would just say, nope, and go ahead and jump to Mistfall. Look at that. I really love the kind of almost Day of the Dead outfit with the flower crown on that this person has and a little cat mask. That's really, uh, that's a nice combination actually. All right, but let's see, Broken Bridge. I think there might've been something behind me back there and I missed it. So, all right, let's wrap this up and then let's go ahead and do some exploring over to maybe the right over there. And I think that we might, we might find something because they said it was next to the walled city. So I don't think it's very far. I am so flustered right now. We just spent nearly an hour running around looking for the soul shard that would be somewhere around the broken bridge by the walled city. And I have a couple things to say about that hint. For one thing, Mr. Ghost, there's two walled cities now. There's Fort Pinta, which is a literal fort, a walled city. And there's Yarlahim, which is another walled city. You should have been more specific. It is not Fort Pinta that we are going to find one of the soul shards at, my friends. It is going to be the Yarlahim area. Uh, thank goodness I have some good connections with little birdies who also know how to decipher very indecisive ghost conversations. Hm. And then finally, I, I that's pretty much the only hint I really tried to reach for because I really feel strongly that the Abbey might be a good location. All right, let's wiggle over here. The Abbey might be a good location to look down by its beaches. If I can get down there safely, let's make sure we can do that. Cause I, we were doing some mountain goat climbing. Trust me with poor Fire Lord. I have no idea how long it's been for you guys at this point, but Fire Lord, General Iroh and I have been very frustratingly chasing. <laughs> We've been chasing down the wrong leads and looking, looking for something that was out of our reach. Doesn't that sound like an avatar reference for our little Fire Lord after all? Oh my gosh. And there, sure enough, is a soul shard. Why, hello. You were easy enough to reach. All right, looks like I probably need to like make a jump from here. And Fire Lord, you can do it. Come on, believe in yourself. We can bring honor to the whole family if we can just make this, this jump. But first we have to get back up which is gonna be a little painful. All right, come on. All right, we got this. Wow. So if I hadn't mixed up the walled cities, I was right on with one of my guesses and the little birdies did warn me. Come on, Fire Lord, we did it. Yes, oh, thank goodness. I am so relieved that we managed to get at least one of those. <laughs> I know you really, really want to impress. There we go. You want to impress that that horse. We might be able to impress him at your racing skills, if nothing else. All right, there we go. All right, swimming. Come on, Fire Lord. Swimming. Fire Lord. Okay. All right, let's try again. Come on. 
Oh, that's a really hard jump to make right there. There we go, there we go. All right, well, that's one down. Oh, that is kind of hilarious, though, considering, you know, it's Fire Lord, kind of an Avatar reference. And we were chasing something in completely the wrong direction and searching and searching and searching for oh so long. But the next one shouldn't be quite so difficult since we will be searching over in Yarlaheem. And that will actually give us a chance to maybe ask some questions around Yarlaheem. It looks like there's quite a few places where we might need to, to ask questions or poke around a little bit. I'm a little bit concerned. I guess Fur Grove would be the next place to go if we're going to try to work on leveling up that experience. So if we have extra time, we'll go to Fur Grove today. I know, Fire Lord, you just have to hang in there. Sometimes you have to take part in other quests too. And we'll see if we can carry on with another quest mission on top of finding these soul shards. Wow, this place is really foggy and overcast today too. Is it just going to be downstairs or I guess everywhere has become like that because of these new portals, huh? Oh man, and now I've gotten too close to a portal. Of course they would put it next to the GED people. <laughs> this is one heck of a day. It's really actually very hard for me to figure out where I'm going with this kind of spooky Halloween fog on top of us. I wonder how long it's going to stay. I'm kind of really relieved that it's not a mist fall, to be honest. So at least I have somewhere that I can go that's a little bit of a break from all of it. But all right, let me wiggle down here. And then let's see. So I can't quite remember what the ghost hint was, though. Something about being next to a broken bridge. Now that sounds a little familiar again. But I felt that way before and got myself completely, completely lost. So by the Grand Stables. All right, let's go. Yes, the stables. The stable race has a broken bridge. That's right. Broken bridge. Right over here. This is definitely a broken bridge. No, nah, Fire Lord, why? Okay, Fire Lord. You're a young horse. You've still got to figure out how to earn your own sense of honor. And sometimes that means we definitely have to put in a little bit more oomph to our step, okay? Oh, thank goodness. All right, and again. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Like I said, young horse, you were still working on get getting your jumping skills down. Maybe we're just jumping at it from the wrong angle, too. All right, let's try this way. Let's just skip, because I see the soul shard. Skip the bridge entirely. Good job. Good job, Fire Lord. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's a young boy, so we're still working really hard at developing our skills here. Okay, almost. There we go. Oh, another soul shard. Thank goodness. These are kind of hard to find and like, well, they're a little bit tricky. I don't have all of the different areas unlocked, which is really a bit of a pity because these they're so important and and to be able to go to all of the different places in star stable is something i've been wanting to do for so long now good job fire lord so on that note buddy i think we're actually going to try to advance at least one more of the quests that clearly somebody needs me to do and i know that's not usually your forte but just hang in there and let's go to fir grove yep fir grove has been affected by the same halloween spooky weather as everywhere else Hopefully that won't affect Felicity too much, but let's see what she needs and then we can wrap up this day because we do need to get a good night's rest and prepare ourselves for tomorrow's live stream event, you guys, our Racing with the Stars event. I am so excited and I know it may have been a little bit of a shorter day, but trust me, Fire Lord and I, we totally went in the wrong direction searching out those soul shards. Next time, I'm definitely going to talk to my little patron birdies first so they can at least direct me in the right direction because I think uh, going in the wrong wrong direction and losing the thing he's searching for is a personal pet peeve of Fire Lord for obvious reasons. But all right, so let's talk to Felicity. And then I actually have a really, really important question that I need you guys to answer. And I'll have a very special poll at the end of the video for. So Felicity? Summer Breeze still doesn't want to eat or drink. Can you talk to the vet again? You can take the trailer to Steve's farm if you think it's too far. All right, well, we're going to take the trailer to Steve's farm because I do think it is a little bit far to race from here to there. Uh, and Fire Lord is done with, like, sitting there and, and not being able to get to places in time. But I do have a very important question for you guys regarding tomorrow's 
live stream, which I'm really excited about. Hopefully everything will go okay. If it doesn't, like I said, we'll just get back on the horse. But do you guys think we should train Rose Stone and try to get her up to level 15? Or because he is growing and experiencing so many new things during this special Halloween time, and we will probably spend some time gathering the shards and probably spend some time working with uh, the Halloween events, should we actually let Fire Lord have the first dibs at our very first ever Star Stable race? Should we let him actually be the one to get leveled up since he's still just level two? I think that would really help him out, but I know that a lot of us were really thinking, you know, Thistledown and Rose Stone would be the stars of the show, or do you think we should swap between the two? Do a few of the easy races with Fire Lord, a lot of the things related to Halloween with Fire Lord, and then when it's time, going ahead and shifting to Rose Stone for things like the Yarlaheem and Mistfall areas. What do you guys think? Hopefully, if I remembered, the poll will have popped up in the corner, but if it hasn't, then go ahead and leave your comments in the comment section and in the awesome premiere live chat, and then we'll go ahead and pick whatever you guys think is best and race that horse for our training and adventure live stream tomorrow, which I am so excited about. All right, let's wrap this up with the vet. Good thing you're here. I've been going through my old notes. Dun, 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 dun! And then next time we'll find out exactly what's going on with Summer Breeze too. You know, after the live stream. So I'll see you guys then. Bye bye